Hey guys, welcome to the Hacked Existence tutorial on building a Python interface to our pager network. So by the end of this video, I will show you how to build a Python executable that takes a few different arguments. And basically, it will encode our arguments into a poxag message and push it out the hack RF. So let's just run it real quick with message equals test one, two, three. And I've already set a default cap code in there. And there we can hear the pager getting the page and I can validate that it says test one, two, three. So let's jump into building it. All right, so what I've got here is a default install of Kali Linux, this is Kali 2018.4. I had to go back a few versions because of an incompatibility with my video card drivers in the latest kernel. Uh, and this is Kali 2018.4 running Enlightenment for desktop environment. So shout out to this guy who made the desktop background that I have here. It's interactive when you roll over the orb and. This guy moves pretty cool with enlightenment. I also threw some transparency on terminology. And the only other modification that I made is to the Chromium launcher to add minus minus no sandbox so that we can run Chrome as root. So basically what we need to achieve here is getting the GR Mixalot flow graph for GNU Radio Companion compiled and running. The problem is the current version of GNU Radio is the 3.8 code train and it's incompatible with the GR Mixalot flow graph that was written for 3.7 and before. Basically, they changed the way the .grc files work. They went from something that looks like XML to something that looks more like Python. But that's not a problem. We're just going to install an older version of GNU Radio from source, which is just an exercise in satisfying dependencies. And I'll show you guys how I did that in a minute here, but let's get them installed first. So I'm gonna run apt update, and we'll install all of the dependencies for GNU Radio. All right, so now that we have satisfied all of the dependencies for GNU Radio, we need to go get the source code from GitHub. And I'll go to releases, and we'll scroll down to the last 3.7 release, which is 3.7.13.5. We'll click on that, and we'll come all the way to the bottom here and grab that gzip tarball of the source code. Back over here, we'll cd into downloads and tar zxvf, the file we just downloaded, cd into that GNU radio directory, make a new directory called build, cd into build, and do cmake dot dot slash. So this is how you figure out your dependencies. You basically do this first. You look at this output and you have to dig through all of this and go find all of the libraries that are missing and satisfy them all. So that's what I did here. After I figured out all the libraries that it took to install this, I wrote them all into one command and threw it here. All right, so after CMake finishes, we'll run make. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video here because this takes a while. All right, now that GNU Radio is done compiling, we'll install it with make install. And now we'll install GROSMOSDR, and that is the driver that's going to provide the interface for GNU Radio to talk to the HackRF. Um, and again, we'll start by installing the dependencies. All right, so now that we've installed all the dependencies, we will go ahead and clone the Git repo. All right, now we'll cd into that package, make a directory called build, cd into build, cmake dot dot slash. All right, so if you're trying to figure out the dependencies manually, again, you look at the output from the cmake, and we'll run make. All right, now we'll run make install. And now we'll go get the gr mixlot flow graph. Let's head over to GitHub. And here we will just download a zip. Go back to our downloads folder. We'll unzip gr mixlot, cd into gr mixlot. We'll make a directory called build, cd into build, cmake dot dot slash. Make and make install. All right, now I'll do a cd space to go into my home directory, I'll vim.profile, go to the bottom here, and add a new line, 
that adds this directory to the Python path. And we'll run ld config. And now we should be able to run GNU radio companion. All right, now we'll go to open a flow graph inside of downloads, gr mixlot master in grc here. We'll use the poxag hackrf.grc. And now we can see this loaded up without any problems. All right, now we'll just modify some of our settings here. We'll set our cap code. Set our frequency. We'll keep the deviation at four and a half K for wideband. Modify our message here. It looks like there's a few extra characters we can remove out of that. And for the Osmocom sync, so people on the internet have said different things. Some people get this to work with hackrf equals one. Some people do hackrf equals in the serial number of the hackrf. What works for me is just hackrf with no equal sign. And over here, we will keep a baud rate of 512. All right, now I've got my hackrf plugged into the computer, so I'm just gonna hit the play button here. And we can hear that page making it to the pager. And if I look at it, it says Grand Central Hack RF the Planet. So that completely worked and was successful. And what that has now generated is a Python file. Inside of the GRC folder, there is now this Python executable here. So if we take a look at what's in there, We can see that it takes a few arguments like a message and a cap code. So basically what we have now is a Python executable. And so now if we run this script with minus minus help, we'll see the output of the options we're allowed to pass to it. So if we call this by passing minus minus message equals test one, two, three. And I got a page here that says test one, two, three with a space in there. Um, so basically just out of the box, we can send in message or cap code. So now at this point we have a Python executable that we can just call, pass in a message and a cap code, and it will encode the message in Poxag and push it out the HackRF for us. So this opens a lot of possibilities for interfacing with our pager network from Python. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.